Yo, oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel with another Fan TV, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. Let's get into the big Ravens news of the day. Uh, McCoy and Justin Reback on Twitter. The Ravens have officially declined Patrick Queen's fifth-year option, meaning that this is a contract year for Patrick Queen. Also meaning that this will probably be his last year in a Ravens uniform um, if the Ravens don't trade him or already have a trade set up right now. So uh, let's talk about it. Uh, it's not news that's surprising, not news that's shocking. Especially after the drafting of Trenton Simpson in the third round of this year's draft. Um, and also with how Eric DeCosta was kind of avoiding the Patrick Queen questions at press conferences, right? Uh, kind of reminded me of how he was avoiding with, you know, Marquise Brown a couple years ago. Uh, you know, just kind of like passing it off. He was saying things like about Patrick Queen that we don't feel comfortable talking about it right now. We won't do it right now at this date. So the fact that he kept pushing it off, the fact that they already paid Roquan Smith. They traded for Roquan Smith to be here and then paid him $100 million, um, 80 guarantee, something like that. So um, there wasn't a likelihood that Patrick Queen was going to be here, all right? So, and nowadays, teams are just not going to invest big money in two inside linebackers. Um, so it's really not really a big deal, really a surprise that Patrick Queen um, had his fifth-year option decline. So let's talk about how much money it would have been if the baseball picked it up. Uh, according to Justin Reesbeck, that's a rebreak, excuse me. Uh, the option was for $12.7 million for 2024. Instead, Queen will be eligible for free agency after this upcoming season. All right. Now, we, I talked about this before. To me, the ideal scenario for Patrick Queen, for ideal scenario for the Ravens, excuse me, as well, is that, listen, he plays, he plays this year. He balls out this year, his fourth season in the league. And he leaves, and the Ravens already have his replacement on the roster. He leaves, goes somewhere else, gets a big payday. Everybody's happy, right? Patrick Queen gets his money, gets to be on a team that's going to value him at the, the linebacker position that maybe he wants to play. And the Ravens already have that guy on the roster. Plus, they got a year of production out of one of the best linebacking cores in the NFL, right? Uh, at least linebacking duels, right? Between Queen and Roquan Smith. Uh, I'm not a fan of the idea of, of trading them just because why create an unnecessary hole on your roster? That, that's my thing. Why create a weakness? You have a defense that's already pretty good, right? So why create a weakness on this roster? Honestly, I wasn't going to do this video today. I was going to do the Ravens' biggest needs. So I might just do the biggest needs the video uh, tomorrow. So as far as the Ravens and as far as Patrick Queen, that's why you don't trade him in my, in, my, uh, in my mind, right? No need to create a need. No need to do something that's going to make you have to fill in with a rookie, fill in with Josh Ross right there, who was undrafted free agent last year. Even though we like what Josh Ross flashed in training camp, I don't know. You wanted to say, hey, look, let's move on Patrick Queen to do that. So as far as Queen goes, I feel like he had a really promising rookie year, right? Really good. Showed some flashes, showed some signs. Uh, second year kind of regressed. But then third year last year, the first four games wasn't pretty. All right, it wasn't great. Uh, I won't say he was objectively terrible. because He's never been like objectively bad he just hasn't been the kind of player we thought he could be right i think that's been the biggest thing with patrick queen so but last year his third year he uh first four games was kind of just flying on the radar kind of more the same what we saw from year two right i missed the diagnosis and plays getting lost in coverage missing some tackles but something happened that Bengals game week five versus the Bengals, primetime football he picks off joe burrow he has a good game all around and since then the, the switch has been turned on people like to say well as soon as Roquan Smith got here, then Patrick Queen really became a different player. While Roquan Smith definitely helped Patrick Queen, I'm not going to say that he didn't because Roquan Smith is a great player, so of course he helped Patrick Queen. But the switch had been flipped on for Queen weeks before that, before Roquan even became a Raven. Uh, the switch had been flipped on for Patrick Queen. So um, I'm excited to see what he has for this year. Listen, man, a lot of these guys, when it comes to that contract year, they ball out. I expect Patrick Queen to put everything on the line this year. He wants to get that second big payday. For NFL players, we know that second contract is the one where you typically make your most money. So Patrick Quinn is going to be all kinds of motivated to give everything he got for the Ravens this year. So um, I don't think the Ravens, I don't think Patrick Queen was, um, he wasn't a bad draft pick. He just happened to be an okay one. And at the spot they took him, obviously there was other players that they could have taken there. You know, that's, that's just how the draft goes. You don't always know what you're going to get. Um, you hope for the best. You hope that you can project the player out to be, X star Pro Bowl, whatever kind of player, and sometimes it doesn't go like that. So, um, I don't think Patrick Queen was a complete miss, but the fact that the Ravens felt the need they had to go out to trade for Roquan Smith and then pay Roquan Smith right there, it kind of told you how they felt about Patrick Queen's development in the defense. All right, 
Um, I think Patrick Queen can go somewhere else and be and be a phenomenal player for them. So I don't think that, you know, by any means that he's a, a bad NFL player or that his NFL career is about to be done after this year. Like, no, he's a young player, fast, talented linebacker. I wouldn't trade him. I think that the Ravens have one of the best inside linebacker duos in the NFL. I'm not a fan of breaking that up. Uh, this, this to me is the situation just like last year, right? Um, Kyle Hamilton was drafted first round. Chuck Clark requested a trade. The Ravens said no. Simple as that. Listen, they let and they let go of Chuck Clark this year for a what we get a seventh round pick for him next year or something like that. Um, seven or sixth round pick, I can't remember exactly, but it was low compensation, right? To me, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with it. I think a lot of times we get into these arguments about we gotta get the value, we gotta, we can't let him go for nothing. Listen, man, if you already have a roster where you've planned ahead, you're not letting him go for nothing. So Chuck Clark wasn't let go for nothing. Chuck Clark was let go for uh, for a chance for Kyle Hamilton to step into a more of a starting role, playing in his natural safety position. He kind of played a lot of slot last year, right? Just like Patrick Queen will probably be let go next year, and you know have be go somewhere else in free agency. So Trenton Simpson can sign, can step in at inside linebacker. Hopefully, he had uh, this upcoming season is a year for him to learn, get better, grow. Sorry about that. And then uh, the next year, he'll take that step and be able to start next to Roquan Smith. So I don't think if the Ravens were to let Patrick Queen play out this year, let him go, let him go on free to see that they technically let him go for free. I, I don't believe in that. Right. Because think about it. What's the value of Patrick Queen going to be? Right. If the Ravens traded Patrick Queen, sorry, traded for Roquan Smith for a second round pick. So second round picks off the table. No team's going to give the Ravens second round pick for Patrick Queen. So that's off the table. So now you're talking about a third or fourth round pick. Patrick Queen, probably, right? So would you rather have the third or fourth round pick next year or just give me one more year of Patrick Queen right here? We already spent the third round pick on Trenton Simpson. Let him develop, play some outside linebacker, move around. He's a Swiss Army knife. And then next year, drop him in right, right next to Roquan Smith. I like that idea better. Because, listen, man, the Ravens always love draft picks. Yes, they can get a third or fourth round pick with Patrick Queen. But to me, it's not worth losing him this season. Um, I like Patrick Queen. He's a good guy. He's a funny guy on Twitter. Um, so, you know, I wish all the best for him, you know, but this move really shouldn't be surprising to to anyone that was kind of just been watching it. Right. So, um, you know, Ravens decline Patrick Queen's fifth year option. They're going to go in a different direction, I assume, next year. I hope they don't trade him this year. I think that would be a bad, bad decision. I hope Patrick Queen balls out one more time in the Ravens uniform. And he goes somewhere where they're going to pay him a lot of money, let him be the leader of the defense, and he gets to continue his career, man. He's a young, promising player. And I really love Patrick Quinn and what he he brought, especially the end of last year. So that's that's my thoughts on it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments on it uh, about the Ravens decline of Patrick Quinn's fifth-year option. We'll talk about it there. But until then, it's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.